<laughs> Piper would be so mad. How we doing? This here's Zutz. Playing a little bit more Adventures of Max Powers. So we went to the Brotherhood of Steel last time and got ourselves a suit of pretty decent power armor looks like over there. We're gonna have to go shopping today. We're gonna find ourselves a better outfit that'll look better for old Max. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. All right, now that's not so bad. Hi, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. There she is. Well, well, speak of the devil. Uh -huh. You're back. What happened? If you want to know, go have to go back and watch the episodes. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. There's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it would be Dr. Amari. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I have to go to the Memory Den either way. You two stay out of trouble. I had to change my mind on the old farmhand clothes, y'all, because they were definitely previously owned. Now that is some armor. <laughs> mm hmm That's right. Brotherhood of Stogies. Right, here we go. The hell? Fatigue, Lord. Require more sleep. When's the damn doctor come in? We ain't gonna worry about it. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. Why the hell does he need power armor to go to the memory den? And to that I say, why do you need a four-wheel drive to go to town? Why does one need a tank to, uh, you know, go to the beach? You know what I'm saying? Why does one need a helicopter to go to the grocery store? These are things you gotta ask yourself. Head on inside. We're coming out, genius. Good God. This statue here is smarter than that guy. And we're off toward the memory den. I hear something strange coming from over here. And I don't know if it... Uh-oh. I know what that is, y'all. That's a bunch of them daggone robots. What's up? Get you some of that. And... Yes. Oh, here's another guy. Watch him. He's got a crazy arm. Hit him again. Mechanist holotape. All right, Brotherhood fatigues right here. Let's go ahead and put another point in perception, y'all. We can't be getting too sidetracked now. You know what there was over here was a comic book store. Where was it? I hear the Brotherhood. Where's it at? Oh, 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 here we go. Everybody say hello to the Brotherhood of Steel. Good God. Let's go inside. Dead gum monkey. Uh-oh. I got gotcha. you. He's a roamer. Nice. You too, Piper. Glad to have you back. Get you some of this. I'm gonna crit him in his stomach. Blammo. Oh, I hear another one coming. Help me, Piper. Good God. What the hell? That one just crapped out of the ceiling. Get you some of this, barrel ghoul. They're upstairs. Here's one. Get him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got it. Oh, God. Get you some of this, turkey. Oh, oh, yeah. An advanced terminal? Shit. Here's a novice lock. Let's get this. Come around that corner. Look at him. Watch out, Pipe. Got him good there. Oh, I don't know what the hell I picked up. We didn't need the jangles. Crap. What the hell? Piper, showing off. We got more. Oh, God! Let's crit him. Yes. Hit somebody, Piper, while I'm doing this. Lord. Good God. Oh, my God. Let's get him right in the head. Come on now. Get you some of this in the eyeball. I can carry something if you need me to. Here's a room over here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit, he scared the crap out of me. Oh, here's another one! Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and put the point in locksmith since we're there. Alright. 
Huber's Comics Office Key, that's going to be nice. And a technical document to take up to the old bro hose. A brand new blue table lamp, let's take that in a desktop picture. That'll, that'll set nice in the office. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. Two. Uh-oh, here he is. Look at this guy, legendary Feral Ghoul Reaver, and he's covered in armor. Oh, man. All right, I'm gonna go for another leg shot. We got a crit available. Let's, oh, Hyper beat me to it. Grants increasing energy and damage resistance the lower your health is, up to plus 35. Uh-oh. A little old rad roach, come on. Shit. Look at this skeleton. Good God, here's a whole bunch of beer bottles. A silver shroud script. Piper's over here typing something out. What you doing, Piper? Oh, here we go. Get you some of that. Let's go ahead and crit him. Yes. Oh, God. Woo! Oh, oh, gotcha. What do we got here? Private room. Astoundingly awesome tales. Do 5% damage with the alien blaster. Say what? Oh, my God. Look at his face. Yuck. Oh, look at this. There we go. Grognak costume. What? Oh, my God. What is this? Silver Shroud costume. Silver Shroud minigun prop. That must be what Piper stole earlier. Well, we're keeping that, y'all. She can keep using the power fist. Yes. Good God. We're coming at you now. Oh, buddy. You should have been paying attention. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, bud. Oh, here we go again. Get you some of that, big boy. Good job, Piper. Oh, we got one up here. Lord, one off in the distance still. Come on. Yes. Good God. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, shit. Bunch of damn raiders. Let's hit him and crit him in that arm. There we go. We want him in the head. Here we go. Get you some of that. Yes. Get him in the arm. Oh, God. What do we got? Where's he at? Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the holy hell? Good God. Ooh. Oh, a bunch of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, hey. oh my god, cars are exploding. Lord, watch out. God. We got guys over here shooting. We're going to take this out. Get you some of that. Get you a shot. Blam. Got her in the kneecap. Yes. All right. I think that's all of them. Finally, a metal helmet. We're giving Piper the metal helmet, y'all. What can I do? Oh, man. Yeah. Upgrade. Piper got... Oh, shit! You'd think after 200 years, these things would be done exploding. The Shamrock Tap House. Woo! Get you some of that? She's knocked down. Oh! <laughs> oh, good job, Piper! Lord, look at that! Oh, Piper... Now. That's what I'm talking about. Good God, where the hell am I? Oh God, Piper, look out! Shit! Over the mountain of trash. Uh oh. Take that out. Get you some of that. All right. Here it is. Yes. Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, she's doing it again. She was angry about the first one. Let's crit her. Take care of that situation. A little long distance. Got it. <laughs> no shits given at all by this Brahmin. <laughs> We're cleaning up the neighborhood. Couple for you. 
Let's get two for this guy. Oh, that was easy. It's the festering one that's hurting. Good lord. Good god, help me out, Piper. It's squirting the crap out of me. Oh, let's not get too sidetracked now. We've got to get over here to the memory den. Uh oh. Oh no! Guess what, y'all? I totally forgot and I left all my fusion cores at Diamond City. What have I done? That's the plan. Get in there and see if you can use it. Well, Piper ain't got no problem with it, so we're gonna let Piper have the power armor until we get our uh, our fusion cores back. But that means we've gotta be a lot more careful because we're in literally just a little old outfit. So we gotta let Piper do all the work. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God, we are definitely not in power armor and we ain't slept in ages. All right, where in the hell? Piper, come on. Oh, God. Get him, Piper. Lord. Whew, come on, then. We ain't got time for that. Let's get out of here. Let's get on inside a good neighbor. Ammo. Fusion core. We just want one. Good lord. That was a healthy mistake right there. All right, Piper. We don't have enough to do all that. But we're back to... We're in regular outfits again. Change the two things they can replace people with synths in this town. They got another thing coming. Get us a quick it's room, shall we? Sob stories. No discounts, no exceptions. Wonderful. 9 p.m. Let's do eight hours. Let's get those expert locks going. Where in the hell have we found ourselves? I'm not sure if this is a memory den or a den of iniquity for crying out loud. What the hell? Hey, good God, look at all this stuff. Perfect. Uh-oh, look at this. It includes the Grognak the Barbarian holotape game. Nice. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. The memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. You need this, so do we. Do you have it with you? Wait, that's the hippocampus. We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine. Hell, why not? Let's see here. There's a lot of flashes and static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Let me think. There was something in there about a hippopotamus. I have no idea. Piper's gonna stand there and stare at us. Oh my god. Thanks for your support, Piper. What the? Oh my god. I'll try to step you through the intact memories. Oh lord. And hope we find one that gives us some what clue the to the institute's location. Man, look at this. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. Such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I ended up running away. Here we go. Try that one. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. You may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh Kellogg. What a sap. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? This stuff's weird, y'all. What the heck? Traveling through the brain of Kellogg is proven to be disturbing, to say the least. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We need to find a memory that's closer to him working for the Institute. And we found it now. They're freaking spooky. always make more. It was just me against the world, and the world had it coming. God, Kellogg. We're running out of brain here. We're running out of brain. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Manual override initiated. <gasps> oh, I just got goosebumps, y'all. Oh my god, this is creepy, and I don't even want to turn around and look. Oh my god, it's Nora.
to go through that again. Is that your son? <gasps> this appears to be a very recent memory. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Names, Dr. Brian Virgil. They're gonna teleport. Look at him. Bye. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. He's waiting for you upstairs. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Good neighbor's crazy. Babs murders worse. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. What, what if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. I already got it, man. Check this out. The Silver Shroud is born again. You up for being a Silver Shroud? Well, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Time to fight crime. <laughs> right on. Yes, y'all. By God, the Silver Shroud. <laughs> well, y'all, it's been a pretty eventful day. We got ourselves to the memory den and took care of the Kellogg situation. Figured out that they're teleporting in and out. You'd think Piper would have told us that as much teleportation as she uses for crying out loud. By God, we've become the Silver Shroud. It's been a real fun time. We're, we're a little further along on the story. We'll see what comes in next time when we go find Virgil. We're going to have to get ready for that situation. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.